The 2018 list of the safest cars is out this morning. Just 15 vehicles earned the highest rating, including Kia and Subaru models. That's compared to 69 last year. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety made it more difficult to be named a top safety pick plus. No minivans, pickups, or mini cars got the highest rating. Chris Van Cleef is in Dulles, Virginia, outside of Washington with what's behind the change. Chris, good morning. Good morning. This 2018 Toyota Camry is one of the handful of vehicles that got that coveted top safety plus pick ranking, and it did it in part because of improved headlights and front passenger crash protection. Now, these rankings matter to automakers. They care a whole lot about seeing their cars be listed as the safest on the roads. Raising the bar on safety meant the number of 2018 models with IIHS's premier safety ranking plummeted. We are trying to send a message to the automakers that we do want them to improve the protection uh, for their customers. Institute President Adrian Lund. We did see a big reduction in the number of vehicles that earned top safety pick this year because we raised the bar. But people shouldn't think that vehicles are less safe. They're uh, safer than they've ever been before. A top safety pick plus vehicle earned a good rating in crash tests, roof strength, as well as high marks for crash avoidance technology. IIHS is now demanding better performance from car makers when it comes to headlights and passenger protection in what are known as small overlap crashes, which involve just the front corner of the vehicle. Four of the top 15 this year were made by Subaru. We found Subaru owner Linda Robertson shopping for a new one. Heading out the door, I'm always thinking of um, safety. Um, Subaru has one of the best, best vehicles, in my opinion, to travel in rain and snow. 47 vehicles made the Insurance Institute's second tier top safety pick for 2018 after it added a requirement for good or acceptable headlights to qualify. 51 got that ranking last year. The group started testing headlights in 2016 and found most underperformed. Those 15 cars got there thanks to optional equipment. The good rated headlights, for example, do not come standard on base models, and many vehicles lack standard crash avoidance technology. That won't become standard until 2022. Still, IIHS says the automakers are scrambling to make improvements and raise their scores. Nora? All right, Chris, thank you so much.